Hi, welcome back to Melissa's Soapery. Today's soap is going to be spring inspired. It has tulips and daisies on top, which wound up being way too big. Um, so the top of the soap, I'm not feeling real good about. I think it came out very pretty, but I will be discounting these because they are just, it's, it's huge. Um, I had to cut it uh, with the single bar cutter um, because it was too big to fit in the multi bar cutter. But the scent is amazing. I did a 50 50 blend of lemon sugar and coconut lime verbena, which I believe is a Bath and Body Works dupe, both from Nature's Garden. Their scents are just amazing. Um, it stayed super strong. When I cut it this morning, oh, it just was filling my whole apartment with the smell. Um, so I believe when it's good and cured, the scent will still be there very strong. So let's get to soap making. All right, we are gonna get our live water blended into our oils. Okay, and now we're just gonna blend on low until we hit light trace. I'm gonna set that off to the side and we're gonna have two accent colors. So I'm gonna get those poured off now. The main part of our soap, I'm using Aphrodite by Blue. Uh, <laughs> it is a blue by Mad Micahs. Then our accent colors, we're gonna use a pink, it is Ballet Slippers by Mad Micahs, and a yellow, it is called Bright Yellow Raincoat, also by Mad Micahs. That's our yellow. And here's our pink. And for our fragrance oil, I did a custom blend and also with kaolin clay. did a custom bloom with coconut lime verbena, which I believe is a Bath and Body Works dupe, and lemon sugar. And I did just a 50-50. And we're just gonna give them a good mix to make sure everything come off the bottom. All right, now we're gonna bring our mold in. And I'm gonna start with the blue. And we're gonna pour most of it all the way in. And then I'm gonna go with the pink. Going to go from up high so that it reaches as close to the bottom as we can get it. All right. And the scent, I, I tell y'all, it is so super strong. I'm excited to see how it does tomorrow when we cut it. And with the rest of the blue. Gonna go with the yellow first this time. All right, 
right, and now for the pink, this will finish it off. We are gonna frost this soap. And now we will scrape out the rest of the pink. Gonna give it another good tap down. All right, we're gonna begin frosting our soap. And there is the two-tone coming out. I'm just trying to build this up as much as possible. The embeds that I have to go on top are quite large. And now before we do the embeds, we are going to add the glitter. This is from the Good Glitter. It is called Gwen's Garden. I'm going to turn it around to make sure that I'm getting glitter everywhere. Okay, right, and now for our embeds. So I can kind of see how this looks.
I miscounted the tulips, but at least the last two bars will be sample and they'll have the daisy. And so now I will spray it with rubbing alcohol to seal everything in just lightly because we don't want it, the glitter to melt on us. And I will bring y'all in for a close up. And here we are for the close up. And like I said, I miscounted the tulips. So the very end will be two sample bars. These bars are going to be huge, and I may have to individually cut it instead of using my multi-bar cutter, but we will see when we come back in 24 to 48 hours. We'll see y'all then. All right, we are back to cut the soap. Uh, I'm going to call it an Easter soap. Um, it's spring colors. Um, the scent did stay very strong. It smells amazing. So, I'm going to give it a cut. Press down gently. That's the back side. And the front. Of course, we'll clean up the edges as it gets a little harder. The embeds are just huge. Definitely think if I did this again, I would try and find some smaller tulips and daisies. But I think it came out beautiful. 